Hello, photo pillar Rafael de Barahia. I'm here with Uncle Tony. And today, Tony will explain us how to align our trackers to photographic eclipses or lunar eclipses or the sun or the moon. You know, it's very simple. So, Tony, very simple. Okay? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uncle Tony, Uncle Tony, what's the next step? Hey, hello, photo pillar. <laughs> Uncle Tony here. Today, uh, we explain you uh, how. Ali, the line, line, align the. Sorry for my English. <laughs> Whatever. Well, align the the tracker in the daytime with the Polaris. With the Polaris for taking for taking the solar and moon eclipses. Okay, perfect. Okay? Let's do it. First step. First step. First step. Catch a hacker uh, and put on a sturdy tripod. A sturdy tripod. And rod tripod on both is a very very. A study uh, stable, stable for the uh, for the travels, okay. And let's do it. So this is the tripod you you take for your adventures. Yes, it's this is my my favorite tripod for my adventures. Okay, correct. Right. Yes, carbon tripod. It's a Benro Series Animal. <laughs> my second step: level the tripod with uh, with my air as leveling jack. Nice. I love it. Very important. I love it. Very, 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 very important. Okay. Okay. Nice. After uh, we uh, we test now, we test now the the delay. Okay. Okay. The, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll double check later <laughs> if uh, everything is still leveled. Yes. Okay. Second step. Third step. Get the iPhone, the phone, and go to photo bills. Night they are. Night they are. And put the tripod. Follow the tripod and try to find the Polaris. And the point four to find the Polaris in the center of the. Okay. Yeah, I see the Polaris here. Here. Perfect. Polaris is here. Yeah, and you align the tripod uh, towards the Polaris. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. And now I review the leveling. Okay, double check the level again. Yes. Double check a little, a little more because for I, I, we move the, the right one. Yep. You remember? Thanks. Yes. If you, you move the right foot. Okay. The fifth step is catch the the phone and go to uh, the leveling up. Leveling. Up. Okay. So it's a level up. Yes. I catch the leveling up. And put the tracker at 40 degrees or altitude. Okay, why, why? why 40? Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's very important. In Spain, for example, the 40 degrees latitude mm -hmm. is, is the Polaris elevation. So, you guys, you should know that the elevation of the Polaris, uh, where you are, is the latitude you are. So, if you are in a place that is uh, 40 latitude, 40 degrees latitude, the Polaris will be at 40 degrees. For example, in Iceland, yeah. 66 degrees. degrees and the latitude of the polar is 66 degrees. Perfect. In Norway, uh, 58, 57 yeah. degrees. Okay. So we take the put. the leveling up, put the phone on the on the, on the uh, tracker, and you need to to get 40 here in the, in Menorca, 40 degrees. Yes. Because it's the latitude we have here, and mm -hmm. then it's where the polar is moving. Super important. Uh, Uncle Tony did talk. Put the Scott team tape. You see? At the tracker. Yo, iPhone. Come. Stable. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now we need to get 40. Degrees. 40 degrees, right? Yes. 40 degrees. Uh, minus is not important. It's not 40. The number is a core. Okay? okay. I, you see in the, in the front of the. You see the the, the harbor. Ah, oh, nice. No, the latitude in Spain is forty degrees. Okay, yeah, Menorca forty degrees. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Next step. And final. Take off. Take off. On. Yeah. And I catch first level. Ah, right. okay. The second. Put the tracker. Put the, the tracker on latitude. Or 40 degrees in Spain, and the last step is open the polar scope 
Alien Pro up. Borrow Scott Lightning Pro. Lightning Pro up. up. Very nice up. Yes. It's for uh, for the trackers, for the uh, Yeah. Easy to use. Uh, and I use this icon, this sun. Yeah, sun icon, yeah. Sun icon and put and click the sun icon. Yeah. And Okay, perfect. Okay. Up, down, left, and right. Put the <laughs> and I put the the phone of the tracker with my tape. Yeah. And I I must be able to put the the this uh, crew this scrolls. scrolls in the in okay. the center. Okay. Okay. To do the adjustments. Uh, okay, Tony, you're getting there. Yes. I put the the cross at the in the center of the. The latitude is correct, okay? And I touch the azimuth. A little more, a little more. So the elevation is correct yeah. already, and uh, we're getting the cross right at the center to get the vale. azimuth. We're getting there. Yes, move carefully, 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 carefully. I got it, I got it. Yeah, in the center, and a little more up. Okay, like gloves, this, okay? It's okay. It's okay for uh, for tracking the moon and the sun. Yeah. It's enough. It's enough, okay. It's enough. Very cool. And it that's it. The typhoon. <laughs> and it took camera on the head and composite. We the sun. Okay, you need to find the sun now. Very carefully. And the last step is a start track. Okay, that's it. Yes. The track is tracking to the moon, sun, or the killer solar of moon eclipses. Very nice. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you like this video and uh, you want to keep uh, learning how to plan and photograph the sun, the moon, the eclipses. Uh, we invite you to download and study well our photography guides. We're going to leave a link to the guys in the description of this video and in the first comment below. And as always, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And Tony, remember, remember, imagine, plan, and sure, the legendary fog. Remember, they had the power to imagine. They had the power to imagine planet. Good. Are you doing a photo? Bye bye from Menorca. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Oh my god. Oh. 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 Hey guys. Nos vemos. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Uh, está congelada. Uh, uh.